not a single school within Chicago city limits plays Division I football. But walk into one of the city's many sports bars on a fall Saturday, and you'd never know it. it it's, everyone's got their different colors. You've got one person in a Notre Dame hoodie, one person in Iowa, one person in Wisconsin, and everyone's cheering against each other's team and cheering for their team. It's electric. And I think a part of that has to do with within Big Ten country, Chicago is the largest metropolitan area. Eight Big Ten schools and Notre Dame sit within 250 miles of Chicago. Northwestern is the closest, just a few miles north of the city line. For years, the Wildcats have claimed to be Chicago's Big Ten team. But with so many schools in close proximity, that claim is a contentious one. Who is Chicago's team? Is it really Northwestern? There's like more Illinois and Michigan fans, but when I think if you look at a, a school that's embraced the city of Chicago and how the city of Chicago has embraced a college, it would for sure have to be Northwestern. Uh, Northwestern has such strong ties to the Cubs, especially playing at Wrigley, but also having fits throughout the first pitch at baseball games, having Kate Drohan, Joe McCune throw out first pitches at baseball games. Do I think it's Northwestern generally? No. When they started pushing the, you know, Chicago's Big Ten team. We're like, okay, yeah, our state, our team. We'll take the entire rest of the state. A 2014 New York Times analysis identified Michigan as the favorite college football team in 17 Chicago zip codes. Could the Wolverines be Chicago's team? We're fighting for the top spot. We're fighting for the top spot. There's some good, like, there's, there's some decent challengers here in the city. I will say this. It is tough to find a time where I walk outside and I don't see somebody repping the block M somewhere. Uh, there's enough Michigan fans here, and you will run into people who are just constantly on, on a go blue train. And what about Notre Dame? The school's ties to the city go back years. It even used Soldier Field as its home stadium in 1929. And more recently, it played Wisconsin there in September. It is the number one focus of all fans. If you don't love them, you hate them. Um, there's a reason why a team in Indiana dominates sports talk radio. This week when Notre Dame's coach is going away, everyone has an interest in Notre Dame. Love them, hate them. They are the focus of college sports in Chicago. The question gets even more complicated once you include schools that don't have football, but do have basketball. DePaul was a men's basketball national power in the 80s. While Loyola has recently captured the city's heart with a Cinderella run to the 2018 Final Four. And both schools are actually in Chicago. You can feel when Loyola plays that even if nobody in the bar has an affiliation there, that like the city wants to see them do well. This seems like one mystery that just won't be solved. But one thing is clear, no matter who they're rooting for, Chicagoans love college sports. It feels like now Chicago is kind of this hub of just like, it's a lot of Midwest people who love the hell out of their sports teams.